Hey everybody, I'm back today with a delicious chicken casserole uh, recipe, or you could use pork chops in it if you wanted to. And uh, if you're a stuffing lover, you'll probably enjoy this recipe. So, uh, it doesn't take a lot of prep, and um, real easy to throw together and just stick in the oven. And let's get started. So I'm gonna put you down here where you can see everything that's going on. And the first thing is, here is my pan. Well, you can't really see. But here is my pan that I'm gonna cook my chicken in. And this is chicken breast that I have uh, cut up into smaller pieces. I'll show you the size in just a second. But you sprinkle a pan. And then we're going to put a combination of a little butter and a little olive oil to cook the chicken in. That is just a really good flavor. And so I wish I had a better way for you to see, and I do apologize. But there's the butter. There's the olive oil. Let's get that turned up a little bit. Stir it up. And while that's heating, we're going to season our chicken. And really, you can use whatever you want to as far as seasonings go. But, um, I'm going to turn you back around this way. Okay, um, I've got, um, I must have a seasoning, a season, yeah, seasoning container problem because I have changed the way I keep my seasonings again. But I will go over that with you sometime real soon. But for now, I'm going to put a little chili powder, probably a tablespoon, some uh, adobe. Uh, that was about a teaspoon. I'm going to put a little sage. I like any time there's turkey or chicken, it's good to have a little sage. And then some garlic salt. And some onion salt. And that was about a teaspoonful of both of those uh, each. And just stir that up. And then we'll go ahead and put it in our frying pan. And you do not have to cook the chicken first. It just gives it a much better flavor if you do. You can just take it and put it straight in your casserole just like this and, and it will work just fine. But for that extra bit of flavor, you want to brown it. And you don't have to cook it all the way through. Just kind of brown it a little bit. So, that was my timer for my oven. I've got it on 350. So I'm going to let that cook for a minute. We have just a little bit left. I'll cook it next. So while the chicken is cooking, 
I have my casserole dish. I think this is like 9 by 13. And I'm going to spray it. And then I forgot my knife. So let me run get one. So I got these knobs at um, Sam's Club. Tom uh, Dachi or something like that is the name. They, uh, I got a whole set. There was quite a few in it for about twenty dollars. Anyway, I've washed the potatoes and um, dried them. And I don't peel potatoes if I really don't have to. There's a lot of vitamins in them and stuff with the peeling. So if I can get away with it, I don't peel them. And I'm trying to cut slices about that thick. And then I'm going to cut that in half or maybe force. And I should have... Uh, my cutting board here, but I don't. So then I'm going to take those pieces, like I said, and cut them in half. I think half will be fine. And just sprinkle them down in the bottom of my pan. And I'm going to turn the chicken. This is such a good, quick, tasty recipe when you come home from work or something and don't really feel like doing a lot of cooking, but you want a good, um, hearty meal. This is a good recipe to go to. And to, uh, to let you know, I still don't think that it's fixed where I can do a video over 15 minutes. So this may have to be in two parts. We'll just see. I know that can be annoying and I apologize for that. But... I spoke with uh, YouTube several times and the situation just never got fixed that I know of. So, let me get this one. Now they're going to go ahead and finish cooking and I'm going to get the potatoes, the rest of those cut. And I know the sound of that knife hitting the stove is probably not the most pleasant thing to hear. Um, also, if you would prefer to use rice instead of potatoes, you can. Just use, uh, in the bottom of your baking dish, just put, um, say you put a cup of rice, then on top of it put two cups of water, and uh, that should work fine. And you can still season your rice with a few uh, seasonings if you want to. But today we're going to use potatoes. One more. And if you want more potatoes, use more. Always make a recipe your own, what makes you happy. If you don't like an ingredient, then don't use it. Okay, so we have our potatoes in our pan. And I'm going to make up just a little bit of chicken broth. We're going to need that. 
a little bit further down the line in our recipe. So what I do is I just get a bowl, put a little bit of the seasoning in there and some water. And stir it up. And I'm going to put just a little bit on our potatoes, just probably a quarter cup because we don't want them to dry out and burn. So there is that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take this chicken that is cooking and I'm going to lay it over the potatoes. And you can see, well, I'll show you once I get it in the pan. See how nice and seasoned it looks and how it's going to be really flavorful. So I have that much of the chicken cooked and I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of the chicken. And if you like your chicken in bigger pieces, just cook it in bigger pieces. I just, for this, um, I like the smaller. I don't guess there's any difference, really. And also, if you'd like to saute some onions while you're doing your chicken, you could put this or add this to it. But I forgot, so I just won't run get in. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get, um, I'm kind of waiting on that chicken to cook so I can put it together real well, but get some cream of chicken soup or some cream of um, mushroom, cream of celery, whatever kind you want and put it in a bowl and then that water that I had made the chicken broth that I had made earlier just pour a can's worth in there and that worked almost perfectly. I gotta add just a little bit more. And then stir that up real good. Get all your lumps out of it if you can. Let me turn the chicken. stirring that, getting it nice and smooth and all, and so that's ready to set it aside, and I believe this chicken has cooked long enough. Well, I'm going to let it go just a moment more. And i got to get another bowl. And I'll be right back. 
Okay, now I'm going to take this bowl and some stovetop stuffing. And I just, um, when I have a recipe like this that's going to be flavored with other things, I don't worry too much about using chicken stock and things in it. So I'm just going to add some water. And get that wet. I feel like I'm all over the place with this recipe. I hope not. I'm hoping that I'm making it where it's you can understand it okay. It, you know, it's been a little while since I've done a recipe. And so, hopefully I'm going to have the video up of what's been going on with us. Um put up before this so you'll kind of know what's going on with this. I think this needs a little bit more water. I love stuff and I really um, love it. It's one of my favorite things at Thanksgiving. So, there's that. And I'm going to, I'm going to take the rest of the chicken here that I just finished cooking and put it on top. So, so far all you have in your pan is some cut up potatoes and some cooked chicken pieces. And so that's ready to go and when I scoop up the chicken I kind of leave that grease on the spatula and let it go onto the potatoes because it just tastes really good so now you have that done and what we're going to do next is take your soup and pour over your chicken and your uh, potatoes. I put about two thirds and saved one third. Then you're going to take your stuffing give it one more stir you don't want to have so much water that um, it's a big clump but just put this over and smooth it out on top. Don't mash it down because um, I feel like it keeps the ingredients from kind of getting together when you mash it down, if that makes sense. Then we're going to take the last of our um, soup and put it over it. And that is it. I just kind of push that soup around this little bit, try to distribute it. Now, what you're going to want to do is, um, I'll put you back up here. 
What you want to do is cover this, bake it on 350 for about 45 minutes. And when you're done, take it out of the oven, let it sit um, five to 10 minutes to kind of um, rest, as they call it. Then you can cut into it and um, enjoy it. Um, it's a really, really good recipe and very easy to make. And I hope I didn't make it seem harder than what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven let it cook and we'll be back and give it a try welcome back y'all and the casserole is ready it smells wonderful and um i can't wait to give it a try i'm gonna put you down so you can see it it still looks pretty much like it did when we put it in the oven i was gonna try to hold it up a little closer for you to see but that's it and I'll cut us a piece and then we'll see what we think about it I did let it sit for a few minutes after I got it out of the um, oven I always have the worst time getting the first piece of something out. I always mess it up. When I mess it up, I always say, well, you just have to chew less. And this piece looks terrible. Anyway, here it is. And as it sits and cools more, of course, it will hold together better and it won't be that first piece that's so hard to cut nicely but anyway let's give it a a taste and see what we think there you go mm. This is so good. I am really impressed with how good this is. This is the first time that I have made this. And <clears throat> it is delicious. It really is. A lot of it has to do with what seasonings you put on your chicken. But anyway, I hope that, that you'll give this a try and um it's just easy and quick and delicious so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great evening take care and i hope to see you soon bye bye